Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. Uh, today's topic is septic arthritis. Uh, but before starting this topic, I would like to request you to like, subscribe and share these videos uh, on this channel to support. And if you need more information about any disease or any medical condition, you can visit my website which is www.diseasesandtreatment.com and you can click the link in the description area just below this video uh, to visit their website and uh, and I come to the topic uh, septic arthritis you know septic arthritis uh, is a painful uh, infection in a joint and uh, the infection can come from uh, the germs that travel through your bloodstream from an other part of the body you know and uh, it can also occur when uh, a penetrating injury delivers the germs directly into the joint, you know. So, infants and uh, the toddler, olders, you know, uh, they're most likely uh, to develop the septic arthritis. And knees are the most commonly affected joint. But... Uh, it can also affect the hips or it can affect the shoulders, it can affect the other joints, you know. But knees are the most likely, you know. And the infection can quickly and severely damage the cartilage. So the prompt treatment is uh, important, you know. And the cartilage uh, are the bones within that uh, uh, joint, you know. And the treatment involves like the uh, drainage of the uh, 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 joint fluid you know with a needle or maybe surgically need to be removed you know and antibiotics can also be used to uh, treat the infection you know you know the septic arthritis typically causes extreme discomfort and the difficulty using the affected joint you know and the restricted movement the swelling the redness and the warmth and uh, uh, maybe fever which is a sign of infection you know and it can be caused by bacteria, it can be caused by virus, it can be caused by the fungi, you know. And uh, the bacterial infections, uh, like with the streptococcus uh, aureus, you know, or the staph, you know, is the most common cause. And uh, the staph commonly lives on um, even the healthy skin, you know, okay. So with any cot, you know, it can enter to the bloodstream and maybe direct to the... Uh, joint you know and the septic arthritis can develop uh, when the infection uh, spreads through the bloodstream to the joint and is less commonly uh, by the puncture or the direct wound or maybe drug injection or maybe surgery near to the joint you know can cause uh, that infection you know and you know the lining of your joints which are known as uh, uh, synovium you know has a little ability to protect itself from the infections you know and your body's reaction uh, to the infection including like inflammation that can cause uh, and that can increase the pressure and reduce the blood flow within the joint you know which contributes to the damage you know and uh, the risk factors for the septic uh, arthritis may include like uh, any existing joint problems, you know, or maybe taking medications for the rheumatoid arthritis or maybe skin fragility, you know, or maybe a weak immune system or maybe joint trauma, you know, or maybe accident or any puncture, you know. So these are the risk factors, you know. And uh, having a combination of the risk factors uh, plus uh, other factors, you know, it can put you greater risk, at the greater risk than having just uh, one, like, uh, risk factor does you know so uh, and uh, uh, if the treatment delayed then the septic arthritis can lead to uh, joint degeneration uh, or maybe to the permanent damage you know so the immediate treatment is recommended you know the next thing is the diagnosis you know your doctor will uh, when you visit the doctor you know your doctor will perform the physical examination so he will examine the joint you know he will see any sign of swelling or redness or warmth, you know. 
and he will see uh, if the movement of the joint you know okay and uh, like uh, and then he will uh, ask you the questions about the symptoms you know how do you have fever or etc you know and uh, uh, if he suspects the septic arthritis he may order the few tests which may include like uh, joint fluid analysis or maybe uh, blood tests or maybe the imaging tests you know now the joint fluid analysis is uh, like uh, uh, infections can uh, uh, alter the color uh, it, they can alter the consistency and the volume and the makeup of the fluid uh, within your joints you know so your doctor will aspire right, that fluid and it will send to the lab you know for the analysis to see if there is any kind of a sign of infection you know okay and uh, the blood tests will also be ordered to see uh, the sign of infection okay and uh, the imaging tests like maybe x-rays and maybe uh, ultrasound or a CT scan or MRI may be ordered you know if needed okay and uh, then once diagnosed then uh, uh, the underlying cause will be treated accordingly you know and uh, there are multiple approaches for the treatment like uh, aspiration of the fluid you know or maybe antibiotics and uh, uh, may be needed you know uh, you know uh, the first step um, maybe that giant drainage you know so uh, there are three uh, ways that uh, that uh, uh, that fluid can be drained you know number one is with the needle maybe with the scope procedure or maybe with the open surgery you know now in some cases your doctor can simply uh, can withdraw the infected fluid with the needle inserted through the joint space you know it's the easiest way and the second one is like uh, uh, arthroscopy so in this procedure a flexible tube uh, with a video camera and at the tip is placed in your joint through a small incision and the suction and the drainage tube is then inserted through the small incisions around the joint you know so this is best advanced and uh, it helps the doctor to see inside the joint as well you know so it's a bit uh, uh, kind of advanced procedure you know and it's good in fact you know and uh, the third option is uh, uh, open surgery you know some joints like hip they're difficult to drain you know and uh, with a needle or with the arthroscopy you know so in that case you may need the open surgical procedure uh, to drain the fluid you know infected fluid you know and uh, the other option is the antibiotics you know so uh, in fact uh, to select the most effective medication your doctor must identify the the germ which is causing the infection which is known as the culture test you know okay and uh, most of the time the antibiotics are given uh, uh, via the IV line you know uh, through your veins in the arm you know and later you may be able to switch to the oral antibiotics you know and uh, the treatments last for two to six weeks because uh, it needs long treatment you know and you know the antibiotics uh, have some risk factors you know or the side effects you know including like nausea or vomiting and diarrhea you know and the allergic reaction can also occur but they are rare you know and uh, you should ask your doctor about the side effects and what to expect from your medication you know and for how long you need to use that you know. so ask this question from your doctor you know and he will explain all the uh, situations Thank you very much for watching this video. If you need more information about any disease or any medical condition, you can visit my website, which is www.diseasesandtreatment.com. And please do not forget to subscribe this channel for more information. Thank you. Goodbye.